awesome. He'll survive. Bonnie, you can give your pull man a hug. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, welcome, guys. We appreciate your time. We're going to go ahead and get started. And so um, I'm going to share my screen here. And so Brock and I have a plan that, oops, let me get my screen to where it needs to be. Um, and so if you have any questions, we want this to be interactive, but we also want it to be um, beneficial for you. And so we'd like to just go around and if you want to either type it in the chat box or um, unmute yourself and just give us something, I'm trying to get back to the home screen, something that you would like to walk away from this class with, that would be awesome. So who'd like to go first? And don't be shy. I just want general knowledge of it. I have not touched this whatsoever. So um, it's all brand new and I'm excited about it. Awesome. I, I agree with Tommy on that. This is all brand new to me. Awesome. Okay. I agree, Shalina. It's Paula. Hey, mm. Paula. Hi there. Thank you for doing this, both of you, and uh, looking forward to it. I just need to know what we can do. I think uh, for those of us that I'm going to take both for the first time. So okay. I need to know what I can do for my touches and my connects. So uh, I know Facebook ads might be one of those things. I think that's pretty detailed, though. I was thinking I might have to work with you on the side on that to do a step-by-step -step process. Well, the awesome news in that is um, <laughs> we're going to show you how to do that right here on this call. And so we have that set up to walk you through a campaign and to show you one. Brock has one. Um, Brock has a few that are active right now. So we're going to work you through how to set that up and what it looks like when it's active and how to duplicate that. So you are in the right place. Awesome. Hey, great. awesome. Anything else? Thank you. The same. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Well, if you have anything else, you can go ahead and um, uh, type it in the chat box. We will be watching that. And so we're going to go ahead and get started. You should be able to see my screen right now. I have up um, the design tab and the way that I got to the design tab was right here on the side. It is so the two tabs we're going to be working in the first one is designs and the second one is campaigns. And so for those of you who this may be your first time um, diving into the designs tab, what you're seeing on my screen, you may not see on your screen. These are designs that I had started playing with. And so I came in and just started playing around with them to see how they would look, see how I like them. Um, so you'll see a lot says test. Um, you'll see uh, this one in particular I created after uh, a lot of people were saying, well, you know, real estate really isn't doing much right now because of the virus. And so what I wanted to do was create neighborhood updates. And we'll, we'll share with you where you can find this information also. And so let me um, backtrack again. You click, once you come into command and you click on designs, you have a few options. You can create an email and I'll click on each one so you can see what's in there. Um, as you can see, last year I created a pre-listing template. I have not used it yet. Um, and a new email template. So you can create templates to where once you meet someone, you can send out an email to them. And it's as easy as you come down and you click on the plus button and it's already set to email. And then you just begin pulling items into your email and how you want it structured. The great thing is you don't have to reinvent the wheel. There are groups out there that have done templates that they're ready, willing, and able to share. And so you just add, like it's, you can click and drag to create a section. Um, and what you're, you over here can click on, if someone is looking at this from a cell phone, what would it look like? If they're looking at this from a tablet, what would it look like? So you notice this just expanded a little bit. And then you can go ahead and add your content. Do I wanna put an image here? Do I wanna add in a video? Do I wanna link something? So this can be as personalized as you want it and it does auto save. And so that's the email. Um, do I wanna save? Nope. The next one you have is a landing page. And so you'll see here that I have a couple of landing pages already set up. You can create landing pages for listings. Um, I created a landing page for first time home buyers. And uh, let me see if this one is it. And so basically what happens is when I get a first time home buyer that comes to my website, okay, I haven't finished updating this one. There is a flyer that talked about the no down payment program. 
that it would take them right to that flyer. So you can pretty much create a landing page for anything. Um, I have a landing page for a listing. Um, you can, uh, if you don't have a listing and you want it to connect with another agent, ask them, hey, would you mind if I marketed your listing? And you can come in and create a landing page. And so this was a landing page that needs to um, edit, but as you can see, it will give them the details about the property. It will give them photos, uh, further details, and a map of the property and where it's located. And you can do that for, you can do a landing page pretty much for anything out there. You also have social, which we are gonna talk about social. Brock is going to show you a couple of examples that he's created. Um, here are some examples that I've created. And when you want to create a social, again, you click on that plus, tell it you want to create social. And there are a, there's a lot of opportunities here. So if you wanted to create a market snapshot to show people what is happening in real estate right now, you can click any one of these templates and these pictures are interchangeable. So you don't have to stay with these pictures. Um, and at, when Brock goes into the demo, we'll show you how you can add your own pictures into this. So if you have a listing you wanted to pull in, you certainly can. But over here on the side, these are the general, um, if you wanted to talk about a listing or you wanted to do a neighborhood snap or you wanted to be the local expert, this is a great one to use right now if you wanna show people the stats and the numbers. And this bar here lets you um, say where you want this ad to go because the image size is going to be different for Facebook to Instagram to Stories to LinkedIn. And they've already, um, they've already integrated that in here. And so this is how Facebook would look. This is how it changes for Instagram and what you can do for Instagram. And so I don't know if you've been seeing lately, a lot of people have been posting those number stats on here's what's happening in the market. A lot of them are getting it from right here and they're just customizing it. And so if you go into Netris and you put the time period that you're looking for, you can go in, plug the numbers in right here and you'll have that information um, in front of you. And so you can just plug in the numbers right here and we're gonna walk you through that. Instagram stories is the same. Again, the you'll notice the size changed because it has to look different from stories. If you're going on LinkedIn, which is um, you know a different platform, a little bit more professional, you can, uh, for the month of, this is where you can put the numbers in. And Twitter, I personally am not on Twitter, but here are some options you can use for Twitter. You have the same opportunity for buyer, um, buyer lead generation. Um, and then there's regular lead generation. And so we don't, I don't think we have a holiday coming up yet, but let's say you wanted to do an online um, game night. Um, Tommy may be upset if you don't get this right. So let's say you wanted to do an online game night. You can create the invite right here and you can share it on Facebook. You can share it on Instagram. You can put it in your Instagram stories. For me, when I do Instagram stories, I do a countdown um, and that gets people's attention. And when the countdown is ending, it also sends them a notification. And so if you're doing a Zoom game night, you can create this flyer. And then when you put it in your Instagram story, create a countdown clock. And that countdown clock will notify people that, hey, uh, Kim's game night is getting ready to come on. Um, and then you have business basics. So if you haven't already done this and you're new to command, you can create an email signature. We used to reach out to Scott Leroy to help with these, but now you can do them on your own. And you have also choices for social branding. And so if you are not on LinkedIn, I highly encourage you to get on. A lot of people are going to LinkedIn now. Um, and you can do a Facebook cover. And so you can swap these images out once you find one that you really like. Um, you have, uh, I believe I only have leadership because I'm, I'm coaching, but if you click on new designs, anytime they update something new, it's here. So if there's a community that you are farming and let's say there's an agent in our office um, or an agent in general that just put a property under contract, reach out to them and say, hey, do you mind if I use your property to do a little bit of marketing? And now you have that image and you put it right in here and you become the, the neighborhood market expert because you're keeping people informed about hey here's what's happening in hidden creek here's what just went under contract here's what just sold 
And so, hey, Shalina? yeah. Hey, you mentioned, I'm sorry for interrupting you. Uh, no, you I'm mentioned fine. Link, you mentioned LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. What, why are people, or what, what purpose would you have for communicating on LinkedIn? What is something that you, some advantage you might see in yeah. for you as an agent? What are, what's your, so LinkedIn goal? is, um, is a platform that a lot of people are not taking advantage of right now. And you can create groups in LinkedIn and these are professional groups. And so I know that the business that I get from LinkedIn is going to be serious business because a lot of people here are those serious business professionals. And so I can create networking groups. And so if one of my things is getting into luxury, I can create a luxury networking group. Um, you can create an investor group. I have a group right now going in LinkedIn where we're sharing business back and forth. It's not other realtors that I've networked with. It's other business professionals, entrepreneurs. And we've created a group that we're sharing um, leads back and forth with. And so you can create groups onto LinkedIn. Um, I did a business breakfast on LinkedIn where other professionals and I got together and we talked about our businesses, areas that we need support in and how we can help each other. Um, you can also advertise on LinkedIn. You can take a blog post and put it on the LinkedIn timeline and you can get connections on LinkedIn. And so say for instance, you and I were connected on LinkedIn, but I didn't know, um, uh, let's say I didn't know Helen. I could now see that you're connected to Helen and I can click on that connection and now I'm connected to Helen. Or let's say Jennifer has connections that I didn't know. I can click on those connections and now they see, I know Jennifer, we're all connected through this one person. And so it's building a network base and it's building a community of people that you can later work with. And I have gotten business from, I've gotten leads from people on LinkedIn because I'm part of the networking groups that we've created. And so if you have not, um, just another sidebar, um, NAR is offering ePro for free. ePro is a designation recognized by NAR and they go into detail on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and I um, uh, can't remember the other ones. There's a couple of others that they go into great detail about and it is free. So um, please take advantage of that if you have not already. Did that help answer that question? Yeah, very good. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. And if you're looking for inspiration on a realtor's Instagram um, page, Marion Napole uh, Napoleon, she is a um, NAR trainer, and she has uh, set up her uh, LinkedIn page to generate business, as well as Marky Lemon. She also has her Instagram Could you page. you put those in the chat? Yeah, I'll put those two ladies in the chat um, and so that you can check out their pages and how they're using it. They are both instructors with NAR and um, they also teach the ePro class on Instagram and LinkedIn and Facebook and Twitter. And so we do have a question here that says, can you run these ads in specific groups you may have on Facebook? Yes, you can bring in audiences. Um, a lot of people are targeting their database specifically. And so if you created a group you can bring in that group into um, command and you can target an ad towards them. And when we get to the ads, we'll go in a little detail about that as well. And so, yeah, if you guys have questions, just please go ahead and put them in the chat box. I'm going to jump over really quick to campaigns and just briefly go over it. And then Brock is going to walk you through it. If you have not seen the campaigns page, they do offer trainings on what you would like to set up. For instance, if you would like to do a newsletter template, there is a training right here that if you click on it, they will go step by step and show you how to set up a template to send out weekly newsletters. And so that is huge with all of us being home right now and our people are online, you can create those templates right here. And it's, it's a lot of click and drag. Also neighborhood videos, you can create neighborhood videos to send out as well. And so at the top, you have your dashboard, you have your paid ads. These are ads that you may have run already. Then you have your emails. Um, I still use Google emails, which is why you won't see anything here, but, um, and direct, direct mail that you may have sent out. And so you'll have, you can do tests on here that you don't send anything out with. So try that. And then your social post. And so, you can schedule a post to go out. So if you wanted to schedule your posts for the month of 
April, the month of May, you can do that. You can create a draft and, and email that out. And so I'm going to hand this over. Um, we're going to jump into the Facebook ads really quick. Or Brock, did you want to show them the design first? Uh, let's, let's show them the Facebook ads. Okay. And so then, let me and then we'll go back into design. So, so. Take over. All right. Um, thanks, Shalana, for your help. Um, guys, what I want to do is like Sh Shalana. I'm sorry. I might have mis mispronounced <laughs> her name. Shalina, it's <laughs> okay. It Shalina. Uh, uh, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask or stop me, or you can put them in the chat. And, and we can go from there. But what I want to do is just a little hands-on with you guys. And um, hey, Brock, it's but, Helen here. Before you start, can you clarify one thing? Because I think it might be sure. helpful for everybody. And here's where I'm struggling. Okay. You've got designs and you've got campaigns. Designs, I am assuming, is where you create, and campaigns correct. Is where you send. Correct. Correct. Yes. So yeah. once I create something in designs, it sits in there like a library. And then Correct. when I'm ready to send it out, I go over to campaigns and I'll be able to retrieve that information from designs. That is correct. Okay. And what's, and what's neat also to add on that campaigns is you can set them up to be published on your social media sites, like right away, or you can set them up each day or every other day but it's okay. neat where you can schedule them. So do your creations and then set them up for the next week or the next two weeks. And, okay, uh, Helen, um, and to add on to what Brock is saying, you don't have to use campaigns to share anything you do in design. So okay. you can create okay. something in design and then upload it to your social media without it being a campaign. Okay, so I don't, it's not a two, it's not necessarily, and that's where I was confused. It's not necessarily a two step. I can do everything within designs, correct? Correct, correct. So if you want to create a design that you send to social media, so you're going to campaigns if you want to create a social media ad, like if you okay. want to pay for a campaign. But if you just want to create a design that you just upload to Facebook, like kind of what I do in Canva is I'll go in and I'll create designs and upload to Facebook. This is the same thing. You don't have to pay to post that design. You create it download and you actually when you create it you can share it from canva i'm sorry from a command straight to your social media okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna dumb it down a level here just to make sure I, i've got this from when you're in designs you can you can post directly to the social media format you want to post to you can go to when you go to campaigns that's where you would utilize the Facebook ad function. Can you go back when you're in campaigns and pull the data you have saved in designs? Are you there? Say that one more time. Say that one more time. Okay. When you are in campaigns and you want to do a paid ad, can you go back and retrieve something you have saved in your library in designs? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. And so to answer your question, the first, so that's, a, it's a twofold question. So if I'm creating something social here, like say, um, da, 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 come to this open house and I do not want to make this an ad. I don't want to pay for this. I just want to share it on my social media. There's a share button up here. You click it and you tell it where you want it to go. So I have commands set up to go to um, Facebook, Pinterest. I don't have a Twitter, so it won't show up there. But if I click this Facebook button, it's going to go to Facebook. Or you can download it. If you want to write a message, you can download it with this button up here and mm -hmm. then upload it to social media. Now, let's say I want to take this design and create an ad off of it. So this design is saved in your library, and it's here. Now, okay. all you're doing, um, or you've downloaded it because you are, you've created a social media for your, your friends and um, everyone to see. Come on. Now I go into campaigns, and what Brock is going to show you is how to set up a campaign, but I'm just going to open up one that's already, um, that's a draft here. I hope I didn't mess y'all up. I just need to. No, no. no. It, it goes right along with what we're talking about. Um, so edit campaign. So once you're in this campaign, it's in your ad media. 
So this ad media right here, this is where you upload the image that you want. And so it could be the image that you created in designs. It could be uh, an image that you, like this image is an image that I've already had. Like I click on change image. You can choose from your um, listings. You can add an image, choose from designs. And so okay. now okay. I go to my design library and there it is. Perfect. And so I click on that one. And now the image, oh, well, I won't save any changes. And now the image has been, because <laughs> I'm going to forget where I, I saved my logo. Once it comes in, <laughs> was not ready to use Requested Unstable. Good, good. Okay, so once it comes in, um, anyway, it's going to your design. That's what I meant. Oh, you can add a video. Um, and so if you've done a video in designs, you can link that video right from here. So to answer your question, yes, if you create. Okay. That, was, that was very helpful. Very. Pull it great. over. Thank you. Okay. All right, Brock, all yours. Good. Tommy, how are you doing, man? Is Tommy still on? I'm good. I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Good, good, good. Tommy, why don't you give right. someone a hug? I was eating lunch. <laughs> All right. Good. Well, um, let's just jump in. Let's uh, let's get hands on or and uh, let's just create a let's create a ad and then we'll set it up through campaigns and I'll show you some of the results of one that I am currently running. So let me share my screen. And we'll go from there, so. Let me show you the results. Okay. Um, so, this is a campaign that I set up. Um, actually, I think it's expiring today. Uh, but it kind of shows you, if you look at this, can everybody see my screen? Yes. Okay. Uh, this is an ad. Basically, I'm running two ads right now, one in tomorrow, but uh, set up one for careers. And this is something that I thought would be, um, uh, this would be something that would be very attractive for people who are possibly looking for other careers, looking for a lifestyle change. And got 858 impressions for a, uh, just talked about Keller Williams. And I want to show you the ad. So basically, I'll just show you what it looks like. And this is all through designs. Basically, I, I set up three pictures. Um, and this is some text. And I got this from the internet, basically uh, some uh, ad script. Just basically, it's who you're in business matters. Um, that's why they're in here. And what you can do if, it, if you see it, this is what it looks like on your phone. Just basically, um, that's what I set up. And if I go back, and what's important too, it just shows you the amount of people that have taken a look at it. So I did two ads. I did one on careers and I did one on uh, homes near schools. And almost 1,600 impressions, which is pretty remarkable. Uh, nobody, has, nobody has clicked on information, but they have seen it. And just being out there in the social media realm is definitely beneficial for people. Um, I have one person who did click and I have reached out to them as well on uh, looking into a new career. So, so let me show you how I set that up. Would that, would that be beneficial for you guys? Yes. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go to dashboard and we're just going to create a new campaign. Okay. Okay. So I want to do a social post and Tommy for you, I'm going to create one uh, or, okay. Let's just come up with a picture first. So I'm going to design 
I'm going to go to my design library. And I know we have bowl coming up. So what I'm going to do is um, let's go this one. Let's just grow into the conversation. It should pop up here in a second. Okay. So uh, what I'm going to do is just create some text and we'll just create a graph. So um, um, so basically you, you want to keep this text under 125 is what I have um, learned through watching other videos, other people more capable than I am. Uh, it just, so it doesn't run over and you don't have to click on stuff. So looking to grow your business. Um, I'm just making up stuff right now. So, so I have a picture. If I want to create two pictures, you can add a, add a plus button right here. I'm going to keep it at one. And I'm going to drag and drop cancel that. Um, okay, I do have my KW Plano logo in here already. So uh, basically, so I have the picture, I have the, the text in the top. And basically that's pretty much it. What I can do is set up a time to share this. And so I'm gonna do April 18th tomorrow at 10 a.m. And it goes to your business page. And from that, if you have something that you wanna share with your personal page, maybe a game night or maybe a, um, a neighborhood garage sale you can share with, you could set that up and just share it from your business page. So I'm gonna schedule the post. It's already set up at 10 a.m. tomorrow, so I'll just schedule it. Now I know it doesn't make too much sense, but that's just kind of a model. You can you can add text that's important to your picture. And basically that's it. Any questions on that? No, I have no questions. Okay. So um, really quick, someone was asking the question about if you did a video, how, um, so let's say K, KW did a quick video on bold and what it was, and you wanted to upload that video instead of the photo, you can, I would recommend that your videos be anywhere between 30 seconds and no more than three minutes. You usually lose people after a minute and a half, but you can take some of your video and add it to your YouTube channel, which I know you all have <laughs> added to your uh, YouTube channel. And that also, when people start Googling bold, um, who owns YouTube, well, Google owns YouTube. And so if someone Googles bold because they hear about it and you're the only agent that has done a video, well, they're going to click on that and be more um, prone to call you because they just saw you did a video on bold and they're curious on what exactly that is so um if that's just if you decided to do a video instead of an image can i share one more thing real quick i'm gonna i'm gonna create one more thing with tommy's help if he doesn't mind so i'm gonna share share my screen again and tommy i'm gonna need your help okay Okay. All right. Tommy, I need a neighborhood in Plano or Cliff. wherever. Or Quail Creek. Hunter Cliff. Okay. So let me show you what we can do. Um, go back to show, social post. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Let's go to design. And we're gonna create a video of Quail Creek. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to the plus sign. 
and we're going to go to video. Okay, this is something pretty simple. This is something you could share once you create it. All right, so I'm going to put in, if you guys want to follow along or, or set this up as well. So I'm just going to type in Quill Creek. California. Okay, for time's sake, let's just go, uh, let's go Hunter's Glen. I don't see Quail Creek. Okay, go. Hunter's Glen. Okay. So basically click on that and it automatically from MLS, it pulls up details about the property. Uh, average home price, these are all things that you can do. Now you can edit it. This is going to be in a video format, so you can edit it. Right now you have some descriptions, historic, vehicle enthusiast, wine lovers. So I click on the drop down. We can change it. I know Tommy's a big fan, so we could go animal advocates. We can go coffee culture, anything you want to do, dog lovers. Tommy, give me three things you want to add to this video about Hunter's Glen. Um dog park okay let's put dog lovers so i'm going to take take one out dog lovers okay um bicycle trails bicycle trails and i think these are pre i don't know if you can add i don't believe you can add them maybe you can but i believe these are just things you have to choose already set up just i guess just trails Nature, I guess. Looking for bicycle. All right, let's put trails. And then I guess a, a park. Okay. Okay, and a park. Okay. Nature. Just going through these. Uh, outdoorsy. Yeah, just go there. Okay. So these are three things that I've added. And you can, it only allows you to do three things. Um, these things you can change. Average price per square foot. You, if it's holding steady, if it's on the rise, on the decline, you can cater it to your neighborhood. Let's put it on the rise. Um, price per square foot on the rise. Let's put homes are on the rise. And and basically you can get information. This is information that was pulled up. I don't know. Tell me if this you think this is accurate or not. You can edit it based on it. Okay. Put your information. If you want to um, put real estate agent, whatever you like. And then market information. So once you click next, it creates a video. And I think the video is a minute, minute and six seconds. So this is something you can create, share with your your database or people that live in, that you know in Hunter's Glen. My computer is a little bit slow. So there is just information about the video. And then at the very end, I think there's some marketing material for you. Just your branded scope. So that's something you can do and create pretty easy. It took about a minute to do. So, all right, any questions on that? Wow, that's pretty cool. Uh, and just so, just for clarification, uh, when you submit this ad, it does go through Facebook compliance, um, especially since they were brought up 
um, since HUD came after Facebook for discrimination, it does have to go through Facebook for approval. If it takes longer than 24 hours and your ad is not showing that it's running, I would reach out to um, KWRI and, and open a ticket because you are charged for this in advance and you don't want your money to be taken and your ads not showing up. And also, if you, when you run an ad, it does not show up on your Facebook page. It shows up to the people that you targeted. If it showed up on your page, you would be paying to see your own ad. And so when you see someone who runs a sponsored ad, that ad does not show up on their page. You have the ad, but you're not going to see it run. You're going to see the results. And I want to share with you where, um, I'll share my screen here, where you'll see, and Brock will show you also where his are coming in. So if this is my ad and I want to see the, um, uh, yeah, I want to leave. And I want to receive the results from my ad it's going to show up over here. So like for instance, this ad is showing completed. I know it ran because it had 1,325 impressions, 127 clicks, um, and 26, so I paid 96 cents um, per click, per person that was interested. This is per lead. These are, this is how many leads I got, was 26. And so if you wanna check, well, where are my leads? I just ran an ad, I just ran a video. Where did my leads go? You'll have to go to contacts and then you apply your filters. And so in your filters under lead source, there are several different Facebook lead sources. Click on all of them because if they're there, that means you got a lead from like Facebook offline conversations would have been a, um, a message. Ad lead is exactly what it says an ad lead. Um, then you have Facebook pages. So that's my business page that someone may have reached out to me. And so I click on all of them because let's say in a lead came in and you weren't notified that a lead came in, you'll miss someone and not be able to follow up with them if you don't see it. And so I just click on all of them and come on. Facebook custom audiences is what we were talking about. If you are Tar targeting this ad just to your um, custom audience that you put in there. And then these are, oh crap, show all in contacts, manage smart views. So there's 26 that should be popping up. Uh, leads only, Aaliyah is not the only one. Oh, now it doesn't wanna work, isn't that so awesome, okay. So when it wants to work, all of the leads would show up right here. And for instance, Aaliyah was a Facebook lead. She was a lease that I managed to get into, um, managed to get into a rental she wanted. You'll see an L next to their name. That shows you that they were a lead that you did not input in personally. So she was a lead that came from Facebook. She came from an ad that I ran on Facebook. And so uh, that's where you will find the information um, I'm not sure why it's not showing up with the filters that I have turned on. Uh, let me check one more time. Any questions while we're, um, any questions anyone has about that? If, you're, if your ads are not showing up, uh, definitely contact KWRI. And when I say showing up, I mean they're not showing up in, it's not showing you that the ad is on, which would be, right here, it's not showing you that it's on. Any questions on that? Oh, let me let me make a quick point to, you know, being inside, you're seeing, spending more time on social media. And I'll tell you one ad that I've seen a lot from one of our own agents, just maybe she's entitled, but um, she has posted a lot on her, um, her KW app. And I've seen that probably the last two weeks. I've seen that over 10 to 15 times. And, and she has definitely gone after people who are looking to buy. So I, and I, I need to tell her, I've seen her ad a lot, but that's through Facebook ads. Just, just a quick point. Angela Taylor, it was Angela's, uh, just showing the video of the, uh, KW app 
I don't know if you guys have seen that video showing the KW app, but I've seen it a lot on my Facebook page. Hey, Shalina, this is Jim Bartz. Yes. Do we, do we have to crank up that thing called the Facebook ad manager to do all this? So you do have to be connected to Facebook. Um, and yes, you have to have a Facebook business account to run this. It will not, um, there are, Facebook does not allow you to run personal ads on, um, well, you can't do it on a personal page. It has to all run through your Facebook business page. So yes, you have to have a business page and it has to be connected to command. And so you can do that when you go into PySync and PySync will connect the Facebook business page to uh, command for you. And then you have to have a credit card on file because they will charge you right away. They'll take the full amount um, and then they will, KWRI takes the full amount and then Facebook slowly takes it from KWRI until it's completely paid out based on your budget. Selena, just and, clarification. Right. When I go into settings, uh, there's a thing down here called Facebook Ads Manager and Twitter ads manager. Are those necessary to be connected? You need to, to be connected to Twitter, you need to be connected in PySync, yes. Facebook ads manager, that is the same thing. Yes, it's the business page, you need to be connected. So if I wasn't on here and I went through Facebook to create the ad, that is Facebook ads manager. So yes, you need to have that connected. I personally don't have a Twitter account, so I didn't connect that. Um, and I, I did connect my Instagram account, but I don't run Instagram ads through here. I like, I like it to be a little bit more organic. So I personally update on my Instagram on stories and the timeline. But, uh, for, since we as Keller Williams have a large account with Facebook, what I have found is when I did a test of these ads versus ads manager ads, um, I have gotten better results from the KW command than I did from the Facebook ads manager. So 96 cents a lead, I probably would have paid $10 or more a lead had I gone directly through Facebook to get it. And someone asked the question is, how much does KWRI charge? It's whatever you put in for budget. So they don't, they're not making a profit off of this. So I paid, um, my ad was $25. They only spent $0.24.97 over the five days that I had the ad running. And so over five days, they spread this ad based on what I put in there. And in terms of, um, and when I did this ad, I eliminated all realtors and only included people who I thought were leases and people who I thought were going to want a pool because this house had a pool. And so when I, by the time I went through and eliminated that, I only wanted to spend $25 on that ad and uh, Facebook took that ad and placed it where it felt I would get the best um, impressions and that's where you see the ad spin and it says did you run the same ad through command and Facebook direct to compare yes I ran the ads through Facebook and I ran the ads through command what I noticed on command was I got better contact information than I did with Facebook so command I actually was able to call and talk to people and sent emails um, to the ones who had it in there. With Facebook, I got a lot of Mickey Mouses. Um, one thing I did notice was, I don't know if this was early on in the phase when they first came out with this, but it was almost like they scrubbed the emails in command. And so if a contact, so I had more than 26 leads, but there were contacts in there that had bad email addresses. They didn't even come over because they didn't, um, a phone number was not required, email was, and if it was a bad email address, it did not come over as a lead. And so that's how I, when I was doing my comparison to see, am I getting a better result from command or am I getting a better result from Facebook? And I did ask around about that. And the response that I got was because we are putting so much, so many people through command as a Keller Williams company for Facebook ads, we have a better opportunity for our ads to show up. Um, and in, in terms of custom audiences, if I were to um, go in here and edit this campaign, so I, in the beginning, I preferred custom audiences on Facebook because I was able to um, 
I was better able to, I guess, eliminate realtors, which was my, my um, spiel. I don't want realtors seeing my ad because I don't want to pay for them to see my ad. So you can do a target audience and then you can come down here and click on add interest. And there is a, there's a list. I mean, there's so, it's so huge. So you got to know specifically like rent to own. Um, this property can go home partners of America. So I'll click rent to own. So anybody looking for something like that or investment, I wouldn't click on real estate investment because um, this property is going to be too high price for an investor. But let's say someone who is a, uh, I think first time home buyers, first time. I know first time home buyer is one in here that you can click on. I can't remember what the name of it was, but yeah, there it is. So first time home buyer and first time grant. So this property would qualify for a no down payment program as well. And so if someone is on social media and they've ever typed in first time buyer or first time home buyer program, this ad is gonna show up on their timeline and it's gonna say um, exactly what you see. So I can save my selection and I'm going, the property's in Capel. I want a 30 mile radius from Capel. Well, that may be too big. And depending on how much money I spend, I may want to lower this to a 20 mile radius. And by lowering it to a 20 mile radius, I may get more people to see it. And there's also a database. Um, you upload the custom list. And so let's say that I have, um, set my database up on weekly emails, which I highly encourage the weekly emails, and I want them to see this in their Facebook. I upload my database, I run this ad, and now my database sees me. Or let's say you're cold calling, Fizbo's expired, or you have um, internet leads that came in. Now you can retarget those internet leads right through here by, you click on target my database. And so you change who you want to target to. But um, that was the one thing that I did not like at first about this process was on Facebook ad managers, I could eliminate realtors. Through here, they've changed it a little bit to where you can't do that. And so that was the big thing that I didn't like, but I still got leads from it that were not realtors. And this Carolina, is where... Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, you mentioned when you were talking about that database targeting, you said a weekly email. Can you mm -hmm. expand on that? So um, my weekly emails, I, I use um, MailChimp and um, there was a coach that I, I'm, I'm with and one of his big things is you send weekly emails to stay constant and consistent in your client's faces, but not always talking about real estate. So my emails don't, I mean, real estate is such a small piece of it. Right now we're talking about small business owners, who they are, how we can help them the ones that are still open for business, um, the ones that are still delivering food. Like I know Nick and Sam's is not a small business, but they are delivering food all over Dallas. And um, you, get a, you get a free roll of toilet tissue when you order from them. And so, yeah, I, I have people in my database who love Nick and Sam's or Del, Fris Del Frisco's Grill. People who know me know that that is my spot. I went there and I talked to the general manager and I said, well, how can we support each other that's free advertising for them and of course once i tag this business on social media free advertisement to me to anybody who like their business so by creating a weekly email that is not always focused on real estate you can stay relevant and present and so when they start thinking about real estate or they hear someone thinking about real estate they're thinking about you and you can create those weekly emails straight through command if you go to designs and you go to emails, you can create a straight through command. That's good, that's good. And so um, the, the other thing is when you talk about how much money does it cost, this is where you set up your budget. And so um, right here at the bottom, you tell it, uh, they recommend 10 days or a dollar per day. I've had some people recommend doing $50 um, as a total budget. And so when I think about how much money I want to spend, I'm thinking about spending maybe um, $50. And so this budget right here, I set up when I gave them my credit card information. And so I automatically knew I did not want to go over $25. Well, they're telling me that 
$25 over five days may not get me a lot of people and I may want to um, change that. And so what I love about when you create an ad is if you do um, add multiple pictures, it creates a carousel automatically. You get a carousel of images. Um, also, another thing that I would um, recommend is you add the learn more button right here versus sign up. And so a lot of people will say, well, I want them to sign up. Well, that kind of gives people a negative connotation of, I don't know what I'm signing up for, so I'm not clicking that. Um, and again, you don't have to have an, a listing. This does not have to be about a listing. You can um, take this out altogether. But if there is a listing or someone else's listing that you want to advertise, go for it. Just reach out to them. You can change who you want to target. Like Brock's awareness was he wanted to get um, attract talent. I can advertise a listing. I can create an event for like a Facebook game night. Um, brand awareness. You just want people like the Golden Arches. If I say Golden Arches, people automatically think um, McDonald's. And so you, you definitely want to make sure that you are creating these ads because people are home and people are online. And so this is a great way to get connected. So are there any questions around that? I want to give time to answer questions around that. The ads are a big deal, but designs are really great as well in order to get yourself out there. Any questions? Any feedback? Anything we didn't uh, yeah. show that you're curious about? I got, I, so I'm, I'm just honestly trying to wrap my head around some of this because I've never done it, but I'm sitting there thinking what you said about the restaurant and how can I help you? So you could approach a restaurant and create an ad for that restaurant. It might cost you 10, I mean, if you we created an ad for a restaurant, how are we going to benefit from that? So I don't create the ad for the restaurant. I, it's my ad with me talking about this particular restaurant and what, so like for instance, if you were to go to my social media page, one of my favorite hostess at this restaurant is Haley. I'm going directly to talk about why I think Haley is awesome. And then I'm talking about my favorite meal. And then I'm introducing that business. Now, when people think of that business, they think of me because they're like, oh, she recommended X, Y, and Z. And so like crawfish, I've never really had crawfish before. But if I see a realtor who's talking about crawfish all the time, they're the first person that I'm going to reach out to because they have some inside knowledge. And so I'm not necessarily, av the ad is not directed towards them. The ad is more so how can we support our local businesses? And it's me talking about how we can get together to support local businesses. And oh, by the way, if you're curious about where the market is, let's talk. Because if I just threw an ad out there that said, let's talk about the market, let's talk about the market, it's the easiest way to get people to unfollow and to get people to be disinterested in uh, my business page because all I talk about is buying and selling real estate. So it's bringing different content to them. Okay. Well, let me add a point real quick, Tommy, to, to your point. Uh, I got to give credit or applaud to Jack McCoy. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen his posts, but I know he is working with, I believe it's a pizza company in Plano, Mama's Pizza. Yeah. And they're, they're doing an event Monday night uh, where he, for like three hours, they're, they're going to promote Mama's Pizza and provide stuff to people that order a large pizza. Uh, I just, I mean, I was in awe. I was like, that's awesome. So if you, uh, if you I think it's happen Thursday to see at that, five, I think. Thursday at five? I believe so, yeah. Okay. I thought that was awesome. And so he's got to, promote their pizza, but then they're going to put a business section, a business part of this for the McCoy team in this large pizza. I believe so, yeah. I think they're going to provide cinnamon rolls. Okay. And that's what that. you want, Tommy, is when I go to Del Frisco's, I want to be able to leave my business card, and I don't want to compete with another realtor. Well, the best way for me to do that is they know Shalina because I came in and said, how can we help each other? Um, and so I want this business to go onto their social media and say, huge thank you to Shalina for supporting us in X, Y, Z. Now I've just opened myself up to a new audience that I didn't know prior to partnering with them. So it's more about me giving different, um, 
giving my audience something else to look at besides the numbers. Oh, but by the way, I can still give you those numbers. Okay. And Shalina, if, if you've never had crawfish woman, you have not lived. <laughs> I, don't, I look at it and I look at people eating it and I'm like, what? That's just a waste. You're tearing the head off. What are you doing? So no, I have not Tommy. <laughs> but I am so ready for you to throw your party and I will come over and have all the crawfish in the world. Tommy. <laughs> yeah. We need to talk. <laughs> um, so, and also, guys, um, a big thing and that you can do that's in designs, if you haven't already, is the market updates. There is that design in here for you to do it. I encourage, I challenge you to go ahead and make one um, and send it out. Go right into Netris. And if you have a specific neighborhood, this is one right here that is very specific. You can actually plug in two designs, the neighborhood you want, and it will pull the data over for you. So like if I click on KWLS and I click on snapshots and I type in the neighborhood that I want, uh, I need to be specific. There it is. Uh, once you plug that in, it pulls up these numbers for you that are already done. And all you have to do is click and drag where you want it. You can make it the whole background or you can just click that little map and it will bring it in. Or you can click this one and it will bring it in. So you have a lot of options to where you don't have to reinvent the wheel because it will bring it right in for you. Or if you want it to be specific, you go to Netris, you type in the dates. Usually when I do it, I'm looking at the past five days. You type in the date range that you want and then you wanna see how many new came on the market. And then um, for me to look at what's under contract, I put in what has gone active, option, pending, um, not pending, I'm sorry, active option, kickouts, contingencies, I plug all those in, then I do pending separate so that they can see these came on the market, these went under contract, and what under contract is different from pending. So this market is really, really hot right now. Um, so I hope that was helpful. Did we answer your questions? Anyone looking for something that we didn't offer and you need a one-off, please, please let us know. Uh, one question on this information right here, can you put in your own data? Yes. Template? Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. There is um, There is a template. If you go back out to um, templates, there is a template where you can plug in your own data here where it says total active, total pending, days on market, and price per square foot. This is just them doing it for you so that you don't have to go and do the work. So with this template right here would be where I can plug in um, what were the new sales. So new listings, let's say it were 50 new listings. Um, Active listings, let's say there were, you know, 230, and then pending sales, let's say it was 160 pending, say 120 pending sales. So that's just an example. Of, this is one template you can use, or um, if there's something else you have, you can certainly use it, but they have the templates over there for you. Okay. Yeah, so I challenge you guys, do one of those templates and post it to your social media. And, you know, I usually post a message behind it that says, if you're curious about what's happening to your investment, let me know. And that's more geared towards sellers because just like the stock market is going up and down, they, they need to know what's happening with the equity in their home. And so I kind of, you know, uh, contributed to that. Just like you're curious about your health, be curious about your investments. Okay. Selena? Yes. Uh on posting the market updates, can we just do that to our regular Facebook page? It doesn't need yes. to be on the, okay, doesn't need to be on yep. this. Okay. Yep. So that same design, like if I were to use, see, I like this one because I'm from New York and it reminds me of the brownstones. Um, I would probably would it do, if I use this, I would put a caveat that says, miss the brownstones back home. But let's say I came in here and I changed this and instead of saying walkable, um, I changed it to um, active pending closed. And then I said, I want to share this to my social media. I can come right up here and click the share button and put it right on my personal social media page. Or I can download it and um, type up a, a blurb that I wanted to put with it and then post it to social media. So okay. you don't have to create an ad for it. Okay. Huh. If only you and Brock were with us when we tried to do this. <laughs> and we can be. So if you we need can, individual yeah. okay. help. Um, reach out to Brock or myself and we'll schedule a zoom and we'll walk you through creating it and putting awesome. it on social media. Awesome. Yeah. Anybody. I'll, yeah. I'll start the, I'll start the crawfish. Come on over. <laughs> we can I'm see it. Six, six feet apart. Yeah. <laughs>
just throw them at me. I'm on my way. <laughs> awesome. Well, we appreciate you all attending. And again, if you, if you need to reach out to any of us to walk through this with you, we are more than happy to um, jump on a Zoom and, and hold your hand through this because we know it's a lot of information. Um, and so if you need that, please let us know. We'll walk you through it one time. And then after that, we ask that you help guide someone else through it as well. And so sure. we appreciate Thanks. your time. Excellent Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Selena. Thank you, Brock. Yep. Selena, on sidebar, um, uh -huh. I discovered that smart plans are my campaign.